<laughs> but let's get to we're gonna do this one last one we might have a uh time for uh, other one but this right here man ah rappers who change the rules of the industry soldier boy okay all right lil wayne oh we got a shot to pay who did this, this is underground sound this is underground sound yeah, underground sound odd future agreed Lil Yachty. Agreed. Playboy Cardi. Agreed. Yeet. I think Yeet was a troll. Tell me. Don't tell me (laughs) all these artists are good. Okay, all these artists are good. All these artists have a legitimate fan base. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. This This isn't a conversation. How did they change the rules of the game? Each of them. That's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Change the rules who, of the, of the industry specifically. Who, we who know Soldier Boy. Who I'm saying. Who are you doubting? Who am I doubting? Yeah, it sounds like somebody. <laughs> there's a specific person that you doubt in here. Not a specific person. Specific people. Okay. Lil Wayne. I think I understand what that argument probably is. Right. I future. I actually don't fully understand what his change the rules of the industry is. Right. Love how he moves, moves different, etc. So I don't understand. I'm actually, I'm genuinely and un- like trying to figure out what that argument is. Lil Yachty, I knew it. I don't understand. I knew it. Right? Cardi, I actually don't understand. Uh, Ye, I don't understand. I don't understand most of these in terms of change the rules of the in- the rules of the industry. That's a very specific thing, not like who came in doing something different, right? And build a, like, a, like a different image or a fan base and all that stuff. But I could, we already know, you could run down a long list of all the Soldier Boy stuff. Like he broke the internet, like completely different, did all the dance stuff, da, mm-hmm. da, 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 right? That's very obvious, the cell phone. He did a lot of things that's very clear and documented. Lil Wayne, I think the thing people would go to would be the mixtape, the volume, mixtape, yeah. the volume, the volume the mixtape, right? Yeah. So I know what that is, right? I don't know what it is with, that they're referring to here with with Tyler, do you know? I think with Tyler, our future in general were very early to like milking the social media wave. You know what they did say? Our future, not Tyler. That's mm-hmm. probably what I because I was stuck on the image of Tyler. Mm-hmm. I can all right. I I can see. Yeah. I, uh, like, inter- yes. Like I, them I, as a collector, but the vlogs are different. Like yes. entertaining stuff. So, like they were heavy to socials, and I think also they're probably the most current none mainstream adjacent artists to be as big as mainstream adjacent artists. You know, it's like we haven't had an artist that looks like Tyler, you know what I'm saying, stands out like Tyler from a general, like it's a mainstream perspective that's been able to be bigger than, if not bigger than a lot of the mainstream artists, right? All so right. I think that in itself kind of like showed a different, a whole generation of artists that didn't look like that. Like, oh, I could be just as successful as the artists that tip that look like the typical industry person, right? Or, or, or industry artist. And... and- Black kids who weren't moving like quote unquote black kids yeah, should be moving at that time. Yeah, right? exactly, bro. Like, no, our future made it a safe space for all all black kids out there. Right, right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. Like, so, so I, I would say that they kind of changed in a sense. Who's who's the next one? It was a hell of a prediction. The future would be odd. That's, that's, what, that's, <laughs> what, that's what we're going with. Lil Yachty. Lil Yachty. Hmm. Where do I start with with King Boat? <laughs> I think uh, all right. So I think Lil Yachty's another one we have to give flowers to for how how he milked the internet really early on. He 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 will he called a viral moment. You know what I'm saying? He milking mi- the internet early on is not changing the rules of the industry though. of the current industry at the time. They other artists weren't. Other artists were afraid to be a joke at the time. He wasn't. Is that where we're going? With? It was him. Who else was coming up at the same time? Him, Uzi, Trippy Red, Cardi. Because what he owned that. I, I think he owns I, his business so. and stuff and moving different. Like I think once I've seen him own his brand and being so brand focused and knowing how to manipulate that. Hmm. All right. I don't know. Rules of the industry is just like And he started the whole like historical lot, to me. He started the whole like bubblegum trap, you know what I'm saying? Genre thing, which led to Rico Nasty and all her Rico nastiness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and all the little the offset people that came from that. Okay. Yachty is at this point a, a, a he's offspring. He's a he's a he's a great uncle to a lot of like rappers coming up. I now. agree. Yeah, you know? I agree that he that he has a, a tree, you know. Um, and then Cardi. I I ain't really got an answer for you there. I think <laughs> I on. think I think 
I understand because Cardi doesn't do a lot and does a lot at the same time. Mm -hmm. He almost had he's almost like the NBA young boy anomaly where it's like on paper you don't understand why their audience is as big, but then like once you see it, you're like, oh no, this shit is this shit is crazy, right? Like I've I seen Playboy Cardi perform at Rolling Loud, bro. And that shit was terrifying. That shit was scary. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie, bro. It's just like crowds of mosh pits everywhere. He's just running around on stage screaming, making noises. He didn't really rap. He's like, ah, 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 and then just everybody <laughs> lit, bro. So it's like to see that and to be like, damn, bro, like it's like 30,000 people in this crowd. You know what I'm saying? Like this shit crazy. So I don't really completely understand what the argument would be for Cardi changing the industry. I would love for anybody that has a great point to leave it in the comments. Yes. Um, please. I would love to know your thoughts. Cause, but I, I can get why he maybe would be, maybe be one musically, but not like industry changing. Unless they're talking about like sound, then I would get, cause there are a lot of artists who were birthed from the Cardi tree. You know, they have the Cardi sound. Let's like eat. Let me take a quick second to say if you're an artist trying to blow your music up or if you're a manager, a music professional in general trying to help an artist blow their music up, I have something that's a game changer for you and it's completely free. As you may know, we've helped multiple artists go from zero to hundreds of thousands of streams. We've helped multiple artists go from hundreds of thousands to millions of streams, chart on Billboard, go viral, all of that stuff. And we've now made the way we've branded multiple artists and helped them go viral completely free, step by step in Brandman Network. All you have to do is check out brandmannetwork.com. You apply, it's completely free, but the thing is, we're not going to let everybody in forever. So the faster you apply, the better your chance of getting accepted. Brandmannetwork.com. Check it out. Back to the video. Let's see this right here, man. Because we're going we're gonna to go through some of these comments real quick and do it that way. Because there, there are some people who have some words in the comments and their own feelings. And that might help us along, along the way. Because I... And legit, I just feel like there's a difference between being different and doing something, being dope and successful, and changing the rules. Like people now have to do shit different. Like the shit that Taylor Swift did, the re-recording, that changed the rules yeah, literally yeah, on yeah. paper. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's like, what do we mean by changing the rules? Or just somebody who came in and did some dope shit and they kind of did it their own way? Doing it your own way yeah. is a whole different thing. That's why I feel like they they like. They mixed up the meanings. Like it's one half like actual change the rules of the industry, and the other half just change like the the musical landscape, like the right. sound of it. Right. Which to me is two different things. Because Soulja Boy changed rules of the industry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, like right. the whole ringtone thing changed yep. it. The, he was the first to the internet. Wayne changed the industry. He made a volume strategy very made very. Cool. Yeah, made it cool, right? Um, like hey, I'm just gonna pump out a bunch of shit, and then everybody wants to pump out a bunch of shit. So like, yeah, those people I, I do see. Some of the others I think are more like musical landscape. Yep. Changed a little Replace bit. Yeet with X. See, and that's another thing. Yeet is just too damn early to even say he nah, changed the rules. Yeah, I think like, I think he's a troll, bro. Yeah. Underground sound, he be doing shit like this sometimes, right. bro. He just be fucking with his audience. Yeah. And I, I genuinely think that one has to be him fucking with his I audience. I do, yeah. I was <laughs> like, I, I know a lot of these things are designed for, you know, commentary, which is what we doing. So yeah, bro. congrats on that. Three Six Mavia. Okay. Yay, future young thug. See, you just y'all just naming people y'all like, bro. I, mm, I, 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 I would I would give I would give you on this, but I I'm see, not that's saying what... young thug should definitely be on there. But I'm not even saying that these people aren't dope or nobody on this list change it. But like, bro, come, you think everybody just change but, on here change no, the industry? That's what I'm saying. I, I I think their argument is musical landscape of the industry, and then our argument is like the actual industry, like the way. Like you changed the way, like you did something that made it, that made every artist after you have to move differently. Yes, that, yeah. that's a, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Which like, yeah, like, I don't think many of them, especially no. not in that comment, did it. That's no. what I'm saying. Yeah. You, know, you know, people just be hearing what they want to hear. It's like when uh the 2000s trash argument. Nobody heard it. I was talking about the whole music industry business side, music yeah. side <laughs> investment, the whole product. It was just, oh, I'm gonna just name. What you mean? You don't know nothing about them? Uh, young Jock, T.I., da da da. I was like, okay, y'all are just proving <laughs> my point, basically, talking about artists that I damn near reference in the video so they don't add to the argument. Yeet doesn't deserve to be up there yet. Where's ASAP Mob? ASAP Rocky was the first artist after Soldier Boy that got big all on his own over the internet. Uh, it's not completely true because yeah. that would completely discredit our future right above them. Our future. Yeah, we are we gonna count Lil Lil B? Are we? 
I mean, he did his own thing. He definitely <laughs> changed some shit, bro. And he was he, he want to talk about some troll and leveraging, like that whole curse thing that he had going on. Was I mean, yeah, other. that was a whole different. That was a mega branding way, yeah, bro. I still don't quite understand how he built what he built. Like yeah. the way he did it, that that shit was interesting. I don't get it either, but I got this one homie that's a huge little B fan, bro. Like to the point where it's kind of annoying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, <laughs> and I just don't get it sometimes. Oh man, let's see if we can find somebody else. Uh, that's one of them weird comments where people come out. Of and now they mention little B. Actually, that's funny as fuck. Where this one? Yes, bro. That long guy's comment. Look at it. Oh damn, they did. I've been blessed with your absolutely spot on content about the hip hop genre. More so, I'm appalled by the decision of yours not including the rapper who goes by the name of Lil B. What are the fucking odds? That's crazy, bro. <laughs> See, that would be the weird ass <laughs> comment, wouldn't it? All right, I have no. <laughs> I've noticed another rapper who goes by the name of Young Thug, also known as Jeffrey, was also been excluded. I hope you fix your grave mistake as soon as possible. Fine guy, have a okay. Now it makes more sense. Look, honestly, all I saw was fine guy and hashtag free sex. And I was like, oh, this is one of those weirdos again. But now, okay, you talking about the young thug. Okay. He ain't really done too much. Gucci Future, Thug and Chief Keep Cardi B. Instead of Yee, it should be. No, I don't want to see nothing that talks about Yee. We are get, hear that and get that. Uno? Who's Uno? Not Got that. to be young thug. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, future, future. Yeah, see, people just naming folks. Man. Yeah, bro. People just start naming. That's why I hate these arguments. Bro. People just start naming artists that they like that other artists kind of sound like. And like I said, bro, like, we go back to the core, which I wish, underground sound, if y'all are hearing this, I, I wish I had specified that. Yeah. Like, change the rules of the industry or change the sound of it. Because yeah. there are some of them, like, yeah, bro, like, so like, like Soulja Boy, Wayne, bro, they, they, artists out there had to move differently. It changed everybody's release strategy, everybody's promo strategy, everybody's yes. marketing strategy. When you come in as an artist and you, you your decision impacts the way your peers have to make their decisions, you have a different place in music history. Excellent. Right? And, like, every artist doesn't get to do that. It's cool, I think, when you are one that gets to do that, but... Yeah, no, nah, I think I wish I specified because some of them, especially a lot of those ones in the comments, and we go back. So we already said it, bro. Fans don't know shit. I can't, I can, I can take, I can't take a fan hot take seriously. Sometimes when it comes to things like this, but, 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 you know, there were some I do think could be argued for. Yeah, you know, yeah. In, in the right circumstances. <sighs> Yeah, look, man, I already <laughs> made the mental decision. I'm trying to avoid any of those types of arguments. Because all the videos we've done, like where we talk about the... No, that be on you. That be, that be I, on me. I don't mind people <laughs> getting on me. It's just that people don't be understanding shit. I'm just like, man, these arguments. They don't, they don't, the videos look... Do- the videos don't perform. A, the videos go crazy viral. Shit, I do them all day. I'm like, this ain't even a viral video. We weren't even trying to like troll, and then y'all just don't get it. This shit don't even make. It's ain't even worth it, bro. Because <laughs> you got people giving all their opinions, and it's not even addressing the criteria that we're talking about. That's my thing. It's like stick to the criteria. Stick to the criteria. Like, oh, hey, bro. You know, I, I'm, I'm not for those. But 